What's up you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get past a weight loss plateau. Specifically, we're gonna talk about five things, four of them being the four reasons why you might be in a plateau, a weight loss plateau. And then finally, if all else fails, the fifth thing we're gonna talk about is what to do to get past that weight loss plateau. It has something to do with my whiteboard here, all these numbers, which I'll talk about in the video. So uh, yeah, let's get started right now. All right, as always, you guys, there will be timestamps in the description below if you guys wanna jump ahead to a certain spot of the video to answer your question. And so the first reason why you might be in a weight loss plateau is your sodium and potassium intake, okay? So if you're tracking macros or anything like that, with an app like MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal will also show you your micronutrient intake, so sodium and potassium uh, levels throughout the day. So a quick note about sodium and potassium, where sodium holds onto water, potassium basically flushes it out. So if you're eating a lot of salt, a lot of sodium in your everyday uh, diet, and you might be holding on to a lot of water weight from that sodium that might be causing you to not drop weight as fast as you would like or at all the daily recommended salt intake for adults in general is a uh, 2.3 grams so 2300 milligrams per day now if you sweat a lot during the day or you're more active this might you can go a little higher than this and then the daily recommended potassium intake is 4.7 grams or 4,700 milligrams. So to avoid uh, sodium and potassium intake uh, imbalances, what you want to avoid are most canned or packaged foods or things like deli meats. Those usually have a lot of sodium. Other foods that are usually high in sodium are cheese, uh, anything from like fast food joints, sauces like your barbecue sauces or other types of sauces, red hot sauce, you know, and usually uh, any type of salad dressing those have a lot of sodium now i'm not saying you shouldn't have these things i have red hot sauce all the time with my chicken and stuff it's just uh, to balance it out with potassium so uh, other foods that are high in potassium are are things like salmon mushrooms yogurt uh, any type of beans potatoes bananas obviously so those are other foods high in potassium so you should have these foods in your diet as well and also, I'm not saying, you guys, that you should track potassium and sodium like you do protein, fat, and carbs. I'm just saying that you should be aware of the amount of salt and potassium you're taking in each day if a weight loss plateau, if you think one is occurring. So uh, just something to check out. Uh, reason number two of why you might be hitting a weight loss plateau are hidden calories. And so... These can be anything from the little sauces, little things that you eat every day or put on your plate that you don't track that are adding up, okay? So things like sauces especially can add up to hundreds of calories. Things like olive oil, things like your salad dressing, your barbecue sauce, the cream that you put in your coffee, all these little things add up to hundreds of calories. Sure, it might be 50, 25 calories when you take them, but if you do that throughout the day for each meal, it's going to be hundreds or 200 calories that you might be that you might not be tracking at all and that might also be a reason why you are stalling okay so two tablespoons of olive oil depending on the brand is anywhere from 140 calories to like 240 or something like that right so if you don't track your tablespoon of olive oil that's a that's 140 calories right there basically if you're eating 2000 calories or if you think you're eating 2000 calories you really are eating 2140 calories instead of 2000 right there so make sure to track these little things or they will cause you to, to not lose weight or at least not as fast as you would like and I know it might be a little tedious to track every little thing, but if you're serious about this weight loss stuff and you really want to lose weight and you're not, this might be the reason why. And so you got to get serious about uh, your weight loss. If it's that serious to you, if it's important to you, make sure to track these little tedious things. If it's not that important to you, then you're not going to lose weight. So don't even bother and you can just skip this video, right? So I'm sure you're watching this video because you wanna get past the weight loss plateau. So make sure to track these little tedious things. It'll make a, a big difference, I promise. Okay, so uh, reason number three, your activity levels, okay? So when you calculate your calories for weight loss, that uh, you use basically your activity level to determine your calories, okay? 
your activity levels determine how much you burn throughout the day, how many calories you burn throughout the day. So if you only get activity through going to the gym while dieting and the rest of the time you're watching TV, just sitting at home all day, at work, whatever, then your activity, the amount of calories you're burning is low, okay? You're gonna need a lot. You're gonna need less calories because you're not burning that many calories throughout the day other than the gym so uh, if you are sedentary there are two things you can do basically okay so option number one is decrease calories right uh, specifically decrease calories from carbohydrates so if you're uh, tracking macros right you should already have your split your split set up you would decrease your carbohydrate intake by like 25 grams for example which is 100 calories let's say that however uh, i wouldn't recommend this as your first option uh, i highly recommend doing number two which is moving more okay so moving more basically means being more active walk to the gym add an extra cardio session uh, ride a bike on your way to work to and from work right just go out more often go on a hike every weekend if you can just be more active this is a lot better than uh, decreasing calories eating less food being more active just in general, just for life is way better than being sedentary. Um, studies show this, you'll live longer. So just be more active and you'll burn more calories. It might put you through that plateau as well. So that might be another reason why your activity levels are really low. So uh, get more active or decrease calories, whichever one is best option for you. You will have to decide that. So the fourth reason why you might be in a plateau is that you're actually not in a plateau you're just not doing weekly averages okay so weekly averages are things like that i have on my board in the background which i'll talk about in a second so from monday to monday i write down my weight i don't care if i'm higher one day or lower one day i just write my weight and i take the weekly averages okay so you should see a picture popping up or some b-roll footage it is essential that you guys do this okay if you just weigh yourself every Friday, for example, and it's staying the same weight or something's wrong, there could be a thousand reasons why your weight might be going up or down on Fridays, okay? Maybe you eat out more on Fridays. Maybe your sodium levels are through the roof on Friday or the day before on, on Thursday, which causes you to gain weight on Friday. Maybe you ate late at night on Thursday and causing you to gain more weight on friday okay weekly averages are super important take your weekly average weigh yourself every day take your weekly average and you will see your actual weight loss or weight gain throughout the weeks okay this is the best way to judge your progress if you are just doing it if you're only weighing yourself in the mornings on fridays it's not gonna it's gonna be different than weighing yourself every day okay and also make sure to weigh yourself in the morning so naked with an empty stomach if you can obviously go to the bathroom before weighing yourself and this will be the best way to judge your progress you'll see a picture from carter goods instagram here showing you basically a great picture showing you why it's imperative that you do weekly averages and not uh, just one day per week. It can really mess with your head. And yeah, so highly recommend doing the weekly average weigh-ins. All right, so now that we're done with the four reasons, what to do if everything you're doing everything right and you're just straight up plateauing, okay? Um, what I would recommend is something called a one week diet break. Okay. So you'll see some footage here. Um, I was going, I was on a cut for about eight weeks. I started to stall around week six, week, week six through week eight. Okay. I was starting to notice that I'm not losing weight, although I was pretty much doing everything correctly. I think, um, I decided to take a diet break because after two to three weeks of plateauing and checking out my weekly average weigh-ins, it was showing that I was going down like 0.1 pound per week of those three weeks. Okay. So something was up. Um, I, this is just the body's way of just trying to stay at a weight. It doesn't want you to lose weight. So I took a one week diet break. This one week diet break is where I literally just eat at maintenance calories. So your maintenance calories are the amount of calories you eat to maintain the current weight you're at. So I wasn't trying to lose any weight during this one week diet break, hence the name. Psychologically, it's great for uh, dieters. It's just a one week where you don't have to worry about going in a, a caloric deficit. You just eat a little bit more, eat more carbs, more fats if you want, 
and it basically reboots your system, right? I'm not gonna go into the science of it, it's just a great way to restart, kind of. And then once you diet break, you go back to the same calories you were, maybe a little lower, and you restart, okay? So after the one week diet break, um, the first week back, I stayed the same weight. I didn't, nothing happened. I didn't get past my weight loss plateau. I think I was even a, a little bit above the weight I was before the diet break. However, that's just the first week. That's how the first week is going to go because you're holding on to a lot of water weight. You were eating more food. It might take a week to get rid of all of that stuff. Now, what the, the magic happens is after the first week after the diet break. So two weeks after the diet break basically is when all the magic happens, when the when your weight loss starts starts to go again. So I actually lost three more pounds after my diet break. And I, I swear by it, the diet break is the best thing to do if you are plateauing. Just take one week off of dieting, eat at maintenance calories, and it should break you through your weight loss plateau. And also, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Again, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.